So what I'm going to do is apply one finger full of pressure. And he's going to respond by turning away from that pressure and then come back into my finger with the, the same chest. Yeah. So when I push with my thumb, he responds to the pressure by turning. And when I pull my thumb back, he re responds by coming back into my thumb. So this way, the pressure stays the same. So what you're learning is to keep the pressure the same no matter if they're pushing or if it's pulling back. Pressure stays the same. Remember, whenever you're pushing and rolling back, roll back has to have yield in it, and push has to have uh, push has to have yield in it, and roll back has to have push in it. <laughs> so they have to be balanced that way. Mm -hmm. So if if he's got too much push in his roll back, right, mm -hmm. then I'll use my press. Mm -hmm. If he's got too little push in his roll back, I'll just push it. So there's nothing. There's nothing there. Right? So it has to be balanced, uh, yielding and pushing. And gets me in the best place, and him in the best place for shoulder. So he's going to bring his right shoulder into my sternum. So I step me bringing his foot up. As soon as I see his foot move, I move my foot. So as soon as his foot comes in, mine goes back. So this is part of that listening. And my pull. step is between his feet. I said, yeah, he steps between my feet. And he uses that pull I did, that side, to bring in his shoulder. So he rounds his arm and throws the shoulder in. Mm -hmm. Now, to respond to that, I have to change. I have to use rollback to negate or uh, uh, adhere to his push. Mm -hmm. At that moment, I push his shoulder offline, away from his knee. Go ahead and do it now. Wow. See? Mm -hmm. And that will push him out. But hopefully he can re he can recover that by just dropping his right elbow. And yep, at that moment he starts to go back, and I bring my foot up. 